was the omega um, square root uh, reciprocal. So we still, they still follow a line relationship. So we are still able to find a line relationship. If we plot one over gt versus the one over square root of the gt, we are able to 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 to, to get the the line on the straight line t. In this case, the intercept would be zero. The intercept as yeah, intercept related to the kinetic terms. The, the, the check transfer curve. So the, the intercept will be one over gt. And the slope, the slope will be, if we take the, the what, uh, omega out, the slope will be, uh, the slope will be one over, the slope will be this. So we can take it with a special item B. If we, in this case, we can just ignore the impact from the chart transfer process and continue to study the electrochemical reaction parameters. And for example, the diffusion coefficient and the chart transfer number. Because we, we, we can always know the the concentration of the reactant species and the viscosity of the electrolyte is not easy to, 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 to measure and add the uh, constant. So if we know the diffusion coefficient, we can calculate the charge transfer number n. On the other hand, if we know the charge transfer number n, we can calculate the diffusion coefficient b. So next, in order to better understand the contact leverage equation, I'm going to use uh, an example to, to demonstrate how to use the KL equation for a real uh, research to study the electrochemical mechanism. So the, the, the example, uh, Example we, 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 we want to study is uh, based on the oxygen reduction reaction. The oxygen oxygen reduction reaction, uh, the it uh, can follows four uh, pathways: the four electron pathway and the two electron pathway. The four electron pathway, the oxygen is reduced to OH minus directly. For the in uh, the two electron transfer. Uh, uh, pathway is the indirect pathway. Uh, it involves the formation of the intermediate species, the uh, hydrogen peroxide, uh, hydrogen peroxide species. We can use RDE to study the reaction mechanism to see if the reaction follows the four electron um, process or the two electron process. So the four electron process is always preferred for for example, the fuel cells or the metal air batteries. <clears throat> we can use the KL equation and the uh, leverage equation to study the uh, charge transfer number n in this case to see if the electrons uh, action is for all of the four electrons or the two electrons. Uh, 
we can, as we talk, discuss just now, if we were, uh, we plot the one over j versus uh, one over square root of the omega, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get a straight line. And from the slope, we'll be able to calculate the number, uh, charge transfer number. Mm. This slide shows a uh, <coughs> real example about, from my, my own research, uh, study the catalyst. So to see how good of the catalyst, uh, if the, the catalyst can catalyze the oxygen reduction reaction through a four electrons pathway, and well, that means the electron is a electron, uh, the catalyst is good. Otherwise, it follows two uh, electrons. The catalyst is uh, is not a good one. So the two catalysts I developed are the magnesium nickel uh, cobalt oxide supported on the nitrogen doped mountain wall carbon nanotube. The other one is the binary uh, transition metal systems magnesium cobalt without the nickel. So I also compared these two catalysts with the performance of the commercial plot. And so the <coughs> RDE curves uh, of these two three, uh, three catalysts uh, measured from the experiment with RDE uh, are summarized with these three uh, plots. And with the uh, limiting current, Limiting current we obtained from this both is both and we plot one over j versus uh, one over square root of the rotating speed. We we got three straight lines here, summarized here, and from the slope of these three straight lines, we are able to calculate the number n. Because in this case, we know the determining coefficient of the oxygen in the solution. We know the uh, viscosity of the solution and the concentration of oxygen in the electrolyte. Uh, we keep it as a separate, separate value. We know this, 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 and this value is a constant. So we then we go to what we can do the number, reaction number. And for the three catalysts, the transfer number are respectively 3.5, 3.71, and 3.9. So the two uh, transition metal oxide catalysts um, shows a little less than the platinum, but uh, almost comparable. That means these two low cost catalysts are comparable to the commercial platinum, but the cost is uh, much lower than the platinum. It's a promising catalyst for the oxygen uh, reduction reaction and to be applied in the fuel cells, metal abundance. Okay, that's the the theory and application of the RDE and the rotating disk electrode. So now let's move on to the rotating ring disk electrode. RRD. Just now, uh. I talk about the oxygen reduction reaction. If it uh, follows the two electron pathway, there will be an intermediate involved in the reaction, the hydrogen peroxide species, HO2 minus. That, that, that species is an intermediate. RRDE is a very effective tool to study these intermediates. The intermediate species generated uh, from the electrochemical reaction. The RRDE uh, is designed with a uh, uh, designed as shown in, with this schematic. Around the disk electrode, uh, there 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 is a ring electrode. <clears throat> so uh, the if the electrochemical reaction involves uh, intermediate species. If we can, uh, we apply the potential to the disk electrode, the formed intermediate species will be generated on the disk electrode. Uh, 
with the rotating of the, the electrode and the intermediate species will be spread out, spread out from the dense electrode to the ring electrode. This is the ring. If the intermediate species form on the dense electrode, when the uh, electrode rotates, and the intermediate species will be spread out to the ring electrode. On the ring electrode, we can apply to a potential that can oxidize the formed intermediate species. You can usually hold a uh, constant potential there. And then the, 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 the intermediate species uh, on the ring electrode will be re-oxidized to the, to the original, original reactive species. In this case, based on the information of the current, current density generated from the ring electrode, GR, and the current density generated from the taste, that's GE. Taste R 